Hello. So for this session, you will learn more about um, handling text inconsistencies in Python. So because you will be dealing with text data a lot when you will be doing your um, data mining or data science work, you should uh, know how to do this. So first things first, we import some libraries as usual. And the data set that we will be analyzing for this one would be from Debit. So it contains different um, details about the schools in the Philippines. So we run it, we read it. So we can see a G drive path here. So this is my personal Google drive. I've uploaded the Debit data set here. So for the first one, this is for 2012. And the next cell is for 2015. So I'm just reading them. You see different um, features. For example, you have the ID, school name, region, province, municipality, division, district, year level, gender, and enrollment. Same goes for the 2015 data set. They have the same. Now let's merge them. Let's compare the two. So we will be grouping them based on um, the region enrollment. That's what we want to get. Compare the, the enrollments for the different um, regions, both 2012 and 2015. So you can see group by region, and then we check the enrollment. And then we change the suffix to 2012 and 2015, because we will be having two columns here. The first column is for 2012 aggregated data and the 2015 aggregated data. And you can see some nans here, or not a number, or null values. We'll see something interesting here. So you have different counts for ARMM because there's differences in tax data. They're not exactly the same. That's why you have two rows for those, but we know that it should be one. The same goes for the others. There should be um, some items here that should be the same, but of course there are some differences in the tax data. That's why they're treated differently. So how do we handle that? You see lots of NANs because it treated them as, as different rows, like region one here, but it's just one here, you get the idea. Then we check the number of unique regions. So um, there should be 17 regions in 2012 and 15 and, uh, yeah, 15 and 2015. So ideally we should end up with 17 rows if we merge it properly. So how do we handle that? So there's an external library for string matching called Fuzzy Wuzzy, and it is not automatically installed in Google Colab. So to install it, use this line, and it will, it will install the Fuzzy Wuzzy. Then after that, you import the process function inside Fuzzy Wuzzy library. So how does it work? So it basically compares the um, two strengths. So for example, we have Philippines here with the raw spelling. So Philippines with an extra S. And here are your different um, items in the list that, that we'll compare it with. So you could um, add more details here. So there's Philippines, Singapore, and Philadelphia. And if you use the process of extract one, it will return the uh, most similar text. In this case, it's Philippines. Because there's just um, an extra S, and it uses Levenstein distance behind the scenes, or that's also called the minimum edit distance. Basically, um, it is the string that has the least number of edits. So for example, in this case, you only add one S, that's just one, so it is the nearest. Unlike, say, Singapore, you would have to um, add S, at the start, you will have to um, also include G because G is not present here. There's so many operations that we have to do for Philippines with the wrong spelling to become Singapore. So that's what's happening when you use Levenstein distance or the minimum edit distance. Won't go deep dive on that. That's um, in the field of NLP. So this is just for you to know how to use that tool so that you could um, handle these inconsistencies. So another example would be this one. So extract one, Japan. Uh, which one is the most similar to Japan? Apparently, it's the Philippines, but it's quite far. As you can see, the score is low. It's just 36. So um, the score ranges from 0 to 100. You can think of it as probability. How similar is this text with um, the text that we have here? So it's quite far. So we use that. 
And I've created um, this code here that will do that for us. And I arbitrarily set the um, threshold to 50 and it will get the best match. So basically I'm creating a region mapper dictionary here. So this is the original text and it will be um, turned into this. We will replace the values based on what Levenstein distance thinks is most similar with our original string. And if you do a spot check, it, it makes sense. Um, the mapping here is correct, actually. In other examples, you might have to change the threshold values. In some cases, um, it will never be 100% accurate. For this example, it just so happens that we can do it perfectly. But for most um, applications, it will not be like that. But at least you will probably have around 80, 90% accuracy, depending on how you tweak it. So it's not going to be perfect, but at least it reduced the work that you will be doing. So again, I ended up with this mapper. And uh, let's do some checks. So for example, um, I check the, the scores for this particular string input. So for region 24, which one is the most similar? to ARMM dash autonomous region in Simone Based on that, the most similar is the ARMM with um, the parentheses here, it's 99%. So that's basically what the process extract one is returning, the most similar string out of all the um, items that we have in that list. Just some spot check. So how about this one, region one in locus region? So it's not, well, you have multiple items here. So in this case, um, you will, you might be getting the wrong one. So the Pico region, let's check it here if it is correct. Region one, finally when it did the mapping, it got the correct, it got the correct one, but they all have the same um, edit distance. So in this case, you might have to do some extra modifications. What else? Um, process extract, um, region 4A, Calabar zone. As you can see, it, the, the um, item being returned is not actually what we want. It's not always perfect, right? That is why I actually added this extra step here. When we did these comparisons, it's just the text as is, but I replaced um, the region with um, a null string or empty string. And with that extra pre-processing, I'm getting the perfect mapping. As you can see here, if you do spot check, these are all correct, but with the default string, it's not going to be correct. So you might have to do some extra pre-processing when you do this next time. It really depends on the data set. In this case, it is. Just so happens that I, I know how um, the bench line distance works. So I know that if I do this extra pre-processing step, it uh, will give me a better, um, better scores for the items that I do really want to get. In any case, we will be using that mapping, which is correct. So after doing that, I, I replace the values with the um, values based on the most similar ones. And I could now do the grouping again because they have the same names now because I've used the mapping. And you will end up with this data set. So if you check the rows should be 17 because there are 17 regions initially in 2012, um, but there's 15 in the 2015 data set. We don't have the um, enrollment values for the CAR region and the NCR region. So these are the corrected values now. This is the corrected table based on that extra pre-processing and um, usage of fuzzy wuzzy which uses Levenstein distance behind the scenes. 
that's it for having text and consistencies. Thank you.